All right, since uh, y'all were asking me last night about Mission 3, and I said I should do a walkthrough, I went ahead and did a terrible one, but it's one that will get you results if you listen to what I'm about to show you. So, first and foremost, there's three different areas that you need to, you know, get through combat-wise. But... Uh, equally as important in this first area make sure you're following the exact same path that I'm following it is the most efficient way to get you ready for the combat that's to come and it'll lead you back to the car uh, without wasting too much time so you're not gonna find a melee weapon in this area don't even bother looking for one uh, focus on picking up all the amulets which there should be a total of three and two drinks you start out with one drink so right here uh, that's the last amulet and then all I gotta do is go straight to the car and you don't really have to worry about your fear meter in this mission because it it really never does anything at least not in the times that I've done it uh, it's more to kinda I guess fuck with you make you try to move or whatever make you try to panic the biggest strategy in mission 3 is to try and get them from long range. Like if you can get them with a gun, uh, especially in this area because this is the area that's going to have the most enemies. Uh, if you can see the top right corner, it'll show you the counter of how many enemies you need to take out. But uh, the biggest strategy is to get them from far away. Try to take pot shots at them. In this first area, they're pretty weak. Uh, if you let them get too close to you, they will swarm at you and they will overwhelm you pretty quick though, so Make sure that you get in from far away. Like I said, this is a terrible run But it's still a good example on, on what to do and so you can pass this mission The other mistake right here is that I was trying to fight them in a sloped area uh, I was trying to fight them uphill and some of my punches were missing So I thought quick on my feet and I was gonna lead him here to the flat surface on the road and as I got some distance I also took some shots uh, but once on a, once you're on a flat surface it's harder for you to miss your melee attacks um, don't forget to use your finishers because that's gonna give you that little bit of immunity for a couple of frames uh, you look like a badass because they look badass and you'll feel like a badass uh, anyway, so once you take them out, make sure you reload, pick up the ammo, uh, use your uh, your soda and your amulet. Don't bother going into any houses or any areas. You're not going to find any items uh, other than, than what's given to you, like right in front of you. The other thing is make sure you take care of this car, because since I flipped it over like a dumbass, I had to run to my areas every single time and that is very time consuming when uh, you're trying to run to an area and having to stop every few seconds because your stamina is falling low so for this next area I would advise to go uh, beyond the marker to the to the workbench that's at the I guess at this point it'll be at the left corner right there in front of Ash because there's three melee weapons there's an axe, a hammer, and a baseball bat. They all have just about the same uh, stats. They do the same amount of damage and move at a pretty much the same pace. However, I, I feel like the bat moves a little faster. So you want to pick that up before you, you activate the marker on this mission. Uh, the reason being is that these regular deadites are actually a lot tougher than the ones in the first area. They're gonna take, even if you get a clean headshot, it takes uh, a couple shots for them to go down. Uh, the biggest issue during this part is the Demi Elegos you have to face. Uh, because he will be tougher to take out. And he does not take uh, firearm damage. Like, you have to melee the hell out of him. Just finish him. You cannot shoot at him. So... Usually you can take a hit or two, and then he'll do uh, he'll retaliate. He'll either swing at you or he'll do the the ground electrocution that stuns you. 
Uh, I used the fence right there to make some space between me and them so I could have enough time to drink. Um, and make sure you're taking out all the Eligos. Uh, the clones are weaker. Sometimes you can even take them out with one hit. But you gotta make sure that you take all of them out. Uh, as you can see, he split right there. And what happened here in a few minutes, or seconds I should say, is that I took out the main Eligos. And as you can see, the storm behind him goes away whenever you're done with that area. But that clone stayed in, in the playing area. Like, he doesn't just vanish. So, if you're not careful and you miss one, he might come back and get you. So, we're good so far. Um, try to get him from long range, like I said. That's going to be your best bet. You're going to have plenty of ammunition. If you're taking good headshots or decent uh, body shots, you should have enough ammo. And if you've made it this far, if you're already uh, up to this point, the hardest part of this mission is already done. I feel like the part with Demi Elegos and the tougher deadites on that field just now were the worst set of this mission. But here coming up, you're going to fight Elegos himself. And believe it or not, it's going to be a lot easier than what we just did. The only thing that could potentially kill you fast in this area right here is if you forget to reload and if you don't take out the regular deadites uh, right off the bat. They're not going to spawn right away. Like I, I had a chance to shoot Eligos there a few times and after that they'll spawn which is right here and the thing about them is that it seems like they hit a little harder. So you're gonna want to take them out. They're pretty weak too, so you, you don't really have to fight them, you know, and wear yourself out with them. But it's important to get rid of them early on. The other thing is that uh, you see Eligos right here next to me, but he's not attacking. Usually he'll do that. I guess he tries to like look for you or whatever. I don't know what the fuck that was, but for the most part. He'll hardly ever come close to you. So remember that. This fight is going to be a long range fight. And his go to move. His number one move is the telekinetic stone throw. Which is the equivalent of taking a shotgun blast to the chest. And. As you'll see right here. So there's the rocks. They're pretty quick. But they don't track. So. If you can time it right, you'll be able to dodge it each and every single time. For whatever reason, my stupid thumbs weren't working and I couldn't dodge in time. But uh, the other key strategy to this particular fight is to always try to have an obstacle between you and him. That way you can dodge behind the obstacle and and essentially block the, the attack. And even if you do get hit, you usually have enough time to uh, take a few shots at Eligos so because for whatever reason he uh, does a stone throw and then he stands around like a fucking dumbass like looking around like everything is sweet as you can see right there he did the attack and then he's just standing around for you to shoot him make sure you're taking good headshots if possible um, Make sure you're paying attention to the sound because usually you can tell where he's going to spawn just by the sound. You know, try to have an obstacle between you and him. And if you do this, I mean, the fight is so easy. As you can see, I took him out. And that's the end of the mission. Mission accomplished. I hope all that helped. Let me, let me know if you guys need help with any other missions. I'm not a pro, but I get it done. <laughs>